Thank you for visiting Chicago Cars Direct. This is a 2010 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara 4x4. It is black over a dark slay gray and medium slate gray interior. It's two tone. Um, going to walk around the vehicle for you. We do these vehicle uh, videos for our clients so you can see exactly every angle and see the condition of our, uh, of our inventory. Uh, but I'm just going to walk slowly around it. There's Fong. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to kneel down so you can see every angle and I'm going to zoom in. Uh, this is a gorgeous Jeep. We, uh, we just actually took a professional paint meter and measured every body panel as well. And every panel is factory original. There's no previous uh, accidents or paint work or problems. Everything is exactly what it should, the way it should be. And you can see that on the uh, Carfax and Auto Check report on our website as well. Um, obviously we just polished and buffed this vehicle. It looks unbelievably nice. Look how clean that is. And this is a Sahara uh, version of the Jeep. So you can see the flared fenders are body colored. And this is the rear of the vehicle. This has the trailer tow group. You can see that right there. Which has a uh, class 2 trailer hitch. Right down there. It has a trailer sway damping and four pin connector wiring. And I'll show you the passenger side and zoom in here. Looks just as, looks just as nice as the driver's side. Can you see that? Look how, <laughs> it looks so nice. It's got a little bit of uh, looks like a Hummer H2 or an H1 in it. Even though Hummer is RIP, is rest in peace Hummer, but uh, Jeep's kind of taking the mantle and I don't know if that was intentional or not, but they've really, some of their new vehicles look like Hummers. And that's a big compliment in, in a good way. They're not taking any Jeep out of their, out of their vehicles. They're just adding a little bit to them, especially in the Wrangler line. And I'll show you the hood. Again, the paint is beautiful. If I see any uh, stone chips, I'll point them out to you, but as you can see, it looks really great. I'm trying to see if I get any stone chips, but I'm sure they're there. There always is, but there's a fingerprint. That's Fong's, Fong did that. <laughs> And he's probably going to do it again when he opens the hood. Oh, I love the front end. Please Jeep don't redesign this vehicle too much. Don't make the front end look weird. Because it looks perfect right now. This and the 911 you don't ever have to redesign. It will look good in 20 years. Look just like this. Okay so Fong is going to open the hood. There's a latch on either side. in traditional Jeep fashion. And I just want to show you the engine. It is so clean. You can hopefully see that from the camera. This is a high definition camera. So if you're not watching this in high uh, definition, go to the viewer window. It's, uh, it's the YouTube viewer window. And click high definition so you can see everything. Because you, you, you're missing out on a lot if, you don't, if you're not using 10, 720 or 1080. And then this is always better if you're watching it on a 60 inch TV. <laughs> Actually probably don't do that. This is not the video for that. Okay, show you the rear of the vehicle. And I just want to show you how clean this is. Um, those are lines in the carpet that our wonderful porters actually put in there. Uh, those are the rear uh, floor mats. And oh you can see uh, that's the Infinity sound system. Which is also part of the uh, Sahara package. It's a very very good sound system. And you can also see the speakers in the sound bar up there. See that right there? Speakers in the sound bar. 
one thing about Jeeps, Jeeps have always had pretty good sound systems. Surprisingly very, very good. But this one especially because of the infinity sound. I love the way that closes. So we're going to start the engine for you so you can hear it. And I do want to show you the seats to show you the condition of the seats back here. Um, this is a two-tone interior, the dark slate and the light slate gray, which uh, makes it look a lot nicer on the seats. But no discoloration or rips or tears or anything like that. I love these. I think this is a, um, I think that's an accessory that the previous owner put on. Those are the grab handles and they're on both sides and on the front doors. I don't know if you can see those. Those are great. And those, obviously, as you can see right there, those are Jeep. Um, Jeep accessories. Those are terrific. And the carpeting is very, very nice too. I know it's getting dark back here. It's hard to see, but I'll show you the side steps. And the driver's door. And these are the body colored panels right here. And part of the Sahara package as well are the power windows, which you can see right here. And those, that's the air conditioning down there. This is the Media Center 230, which is an audio jack, which you can see right there if you want to plug in your iPhone, your nifty new iPhone 5S with uh, iRadio, which is phenomenal. I love my new iPhone. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying it's great. And it's got Sirius satellite radio and a 6 disc CD changer and a very good sound system. Again, it's the Infinity sound system. There's your stability control down there. And as you can see over here, uh, those are your power door locks, which is another luxury feature that I'm not used to on Jeeps. That's kind of that's kind of nice to have, I guess. And I'll show you the passenger seat, and your books are right here. I'll move the books so you can see what's underneath that. Okay, I'm going to show you the dash. Other than a low gas light and the seatbelt light being on, uh, there's no lights or issues or anything like that with the vehicle. Um, vehicle has 50,000, 53 miles on it. And I love this leather wrapped steering wheel. And it just feels great. Especially if you're going to do some off roading. It looks like uh, the previous owner put a nice little accessory here too. It's a little bit of a net here for some storage. It's kind of nice so you can keep your new iPhone 5S in there. Here's your cruise control. And of course that is your automatic transmission right there, which was another option. Uh, from Jeep and up here is your hardtop. That's your freedom hardtop But in the summer just take the top off. It's just that's what Jeeps are. They're so terrific like that And but I do want to show you the tires and the wheels uh, The tires are actually and you can see this from looking at them uh, Those are Bridgestone 18 inch tires and they all measure 14 30 seconds. So uh, they're practically new. Actually, if you look down here, you can still see the nubs in the tires, so those are about as new as you can get. Uh, and I'll show you the wheels as well. The wheels look to be in good condition. Uh, I don't see any damage or scrapes or anything, and, but I'll show you all of them. This is the rear uh, driver wheel. I know this is not exciting movie making, but our clients like it when we uh, 
if they're looking to buy a vehicle, they like it when we zoom in on the wheels. Uh, so I'm going to do that for the spare as well. This is just such a clean Jeep. Um, he obviously didn't off-road it. <laughs> Strictly an on-road Jeep, which, which is fine. I didn't really off-road mine when I had mine either. Truth be told. Yeah, all the wheels look great. Well, that is our, that is our 2010 Jeep Wrangler Sahara. Um, if you do look, um, we, we have a couple things on our website you're more than welcome to look at. We have the Carfax and the Auto Check Report. Uh, they're both complimentary and they're both the full reports. So you can just go to our website at www.chicagocarsdirect.com and you can take a look at them. And on the Carfax report you'll see that this vehicle has been very, very well serviced um, at a Jeep dealership. Uh, it was owned by one previous owner and very well cared for obviously. But if you have any questions that we didn't answer for you on the video, feel free to give us a call at 630-889-0911. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.